cattle raisers from the Western District and parts of Eastern South Australia converge on the freezing works at Portland to learn the results of the 1960 beef carcass competition. Sponsored by the Portland PA and H Society, this fourth annual competition draws a record crowd of 400 to its field day. Keen interest is shown by pastoralists who are eager to examine the special features of the entries which the judge said were of superior standard. Here, the judge, Mr. Ron McNeil, tells Mr. D. Hanson of MacArthur why his entry won the first prize with a trophy valued at 20 pounds. Seventy-nine points were scored by the top place getter, a record for the Portland competitions, which involved considerable detailed organization. For the 1960 contest, officials of the sponsoring society and the management of the freezing company spent many hundreds of man hours supervising and computing the results. For weeks leading up to the competition, in places as far spread as 130 miles, competitors make preparations to enter their prime beef animals. In the 133 head entered, Aberdeen Angus, Hereford, Pole Hereford, Shorthorn and Crossbreeds are represented. At the freezing works, the cattle are yarded. Up the race they go to the killing chamber and finally these first-class carcasses emerge. Judging begins after the carcasses have been chilled. The length of leg is measured. The colour and texture of the fat are appraised. eye muscle depth and the amount of fat over the eye muscle are measured. The texture of the muscle and the rib cover are checked. Under the scientific judging system used in this contest, 70 points can be allotted to those accurately measured and 30 points to those judged by eye. Competitions such as this Portland contest aim to show cattlemen exactly the type of animals they're growing and the kind of carcass the market wants they can do much to improve the quality of the beef produced in Victoria.